What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Up Ladder with this awesome water team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock. The support has been unreal on this channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. But yeah, we got two new Pokemon to show off in today's video. We got Sea King over here and we got Tentacruel. Yo, let's get it. Rocking out in our front spot. We have Lapras, normal Lapras over here with Blizzard, Thunder, Hydro Pump, Protect, Life Orb and Shell Armor. You guys already know about Lapras. This thing has been crazy for a while now. We got Seeking brand new Pokemon from the Isle of Armor who I haven't shown off yet. Is this from Isle of Armor? I think it is. I think it is, but if not, we still haven't shown it off yet. This thing has Lightning Rod, the Rindo Berry, so it can actually uh, eat up grass moves. Ice Beam Scald for Stab. It has a one-hit KO move, which is Horn Drill. That is going to be awesome if we can land it in today's video. And then it has Protect, kind of just to protect up and waste some turns out. Behind my face cam, I know you guys are going to gonna be saying like yo yo you gotta move your face game you got a new pokemon behind it it's all right we're gonna talk about it we got tentacruel over here with clear body as its ability weakness policy right here so if we trigger that we can roll out and then a move set of sludge bomb for stab skull for stab giga drain for nice coverage move and protect we also got draco fish over here choice scarf normal draco fish this thing's an absolute monster hit that thing with fish's friend and it's gonna be rolling it's gonna be rolling once you get uh fish's friends going as you guys already know that thing that move is an absolute monster of a move. It just takes out everything in one shot. As Psychic Fangs, if we want to choice into that, Outrage as well, and Bulldoze. Then we got Urshifu. We got the Fighting and Dark type. I usually use the Fighting and Water type. I really like that one a lot more, but this one seems awesome. I don't think I use this one yet. I'm not too sure. I might have used them once. I might have used them once, but here we go. Using them again. This one has Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protects. That Focus Edge, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Scary Face, Lower Speed, and Detect. That works as a Protect. I don't know why, like, they even have, like, Detect. Is there a difference from Detect and Protect? I feel like they are just the same thing. Then in the final spot, a big part of this team right here is going to be this Moxie Gyarados. Everyone knows how strong these things can be once they get a kill. Boost that attack and then just keep rolling out from there. This thing has Bounce for Stab, Waterfall for Stab, Taunt, and then a Coverage move of Flamethrower, which is actually pretty cool. I cannot wait to show that off. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get rolling here and hop into some online ranked battles. First battle going up against a very strong Sun team right here. This guy is Venusaur, Torkoal, Bisharp, Charizard, My Shao. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it My Shao? Some people are going to be like, oh, you don't pronounce it right. It's all good. That's how I pronounce it. And Porygon too. So we're going to try to get rolling with this one. I think he, he can take Weather Control, which is going to be tough for us because we don't have like any Drizzle Pokemon. But Venusaur is going to be the big threat. Venusaur is definitely going to be the big threat. Who should I go with? Let me check out these Pokemon stats real quick. We have 47 seconds left. I can just do a like, quick peek of this. We got Speed. Look at this thing. This thing's 88 speed, 127. Not bad. Okay, so her speed's not too shabby. Her shoe's fastest on the team. Her shoe is fastest on the team, which is nice. Okay, so how should I go in? Here? How should I go in? You could lead Porygon. I think I'm just going to lead Urshifu. I feel like that's a that's a fine lead. Urshifu can roll in here. If he wants to lead Porygon, I can hit it with a nice big close combat. Potentially do some big damage to it. Um, hmm. What else should I go into? I definitely want to bring Tentacruel. I definitely want to bring Tentacruel and uh, Sea King. Does he have any electric? No, he does not. I feel like he might lead, uh, I feel like he might lead, uh, Bisharp. You gotta watch out for that. And then in the final spot, I'm gonna show off Seeking. I am going to show off Seeking here. That's totally fine. I'm gonna try to get Tentacruel and Seeking some love in here, but this team's looking dope. This team is looking dope. I always love using teams that are just off meta, just totally different from what everyone's using. So this team is gonna be fun. If you guys wanna catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Also, there's an Instagram link down there if you wanna send me teams, or just follow me over there. You guys already know to deal with that. But who's going to lead? We're called Empish Sharp. Okay, so he's going to get the sun rolling. Which is a little annoying. Which is a little annoying. I could actually Dynamax right here right now. Get rolling with that. Urshifu pops out. And Shiny Tentacle. Yo, look at this dude. He's looking awesome. He's looking awesome. The drought does come out, though. The drought does come out, which I'm not a fan of. I still might Dynamax and uh, change up the weather here. I'm thinking of doing that. We do have close combat, which I can just uh, hit up that thing real quick. Yeah, we're going to go into close combat. Try to do some big damage. I think it's got to be Sash, though. And 100%, I'm going to uh, change up this weather right here. And take a shot at this Torkoal. Which I think the Torkoal might protect. Or he might actually swap out. Let's see what he does. I'm thinking he's, he might swap out here. Let's see. We're going to Dynamax here. Get Tentacruel ro rolling, man. I know a lot of people, when the Olive Armor came out, they're like, Yo, you got to try out Tentacruel. He's actually a cool Pokemon. They're like, we're here now. And Tentacruel and Tentacruel has really grown on me. Like, when I was little... Playing like fire red leaf green i was like oh get that pokemon away from me now i'm like yo dude this pokemon is dope i love its design and all that but yeah definitely a pokemon that grown on me and i really like its design a lot now 
This was just when I was like a kid. I didn't really like it. Close combat comes out. Is this thing Sash? It is. It is Sash. And our defense is going to drop. We are Sash as well. And that just shows that we are the fastest on the stage, which is awesome. Our defense is going to drop down. So we're not going to be able to take a hit really, really well here. Guys are going to come out here and actually just change up the weather. That's going to be nice. And do some damage over on Torkoal. How much can we do this Torkoal? Not bad damage. Not bad damage, especially in the drought. I'm fine with that. And actually, Earth Fruit is probably going to go down here. I think they're going to double up into it. Or at least drop a heat wave. Or something along those lines. Iron Head comes out. Oh, shit. Are we going to eat that up? Oh, no. We might be able to eat up this uh, eruption. We should be able to. Yes, we do, yo. Let's get it. We eat up that eru eruption just fine. Um, hmm. Let me look at his Pokemon real quick. Let's see who he's rolling out with. But I think he might actually withdraw the Torkoal. I think that's going to be the play. Is he's going to withdraw the Torkoal and maybe go into, uh... Hmm. The one that can eat up a water shot. I think he might go into, uh... Let's just close combat on the side. Let me just go for a wicked blow. Hmm. I think I might just drop a wicked blow on this side. Or no, he might have sucker punch. He might have sucker punch. Hmm. I'm just gonna drop a uh, wicked blow on this side, and then go for a. Uh, guess I'll go for another geyser over on the torquil side. Just to make sure it goes down. Let's see what happens here. Is he gonna go for a sucker punch? No, torquil protects. We might be able to take out that Torkoal here, still through that. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Yep, Sucker Punch has come out. Kind of saw that one coming. I kind of saw that one coming all day long. Which is totally fine. Hopefully, hopefully we can take this thing out here. Let's go. Geyser comes out. Come on, take out this Torkoal. I don't think we are. Even in the rain. I don't think, we, I don't think we're going to hit you as protect. Exactly. Do we? Oh, we do, yo. Let's go, Tentacruel. The Sucker Punch did come out. Takes out our Earth food, but we get rid of that Torkoal, which is awesome. So we got Weather Control right here. And we still have one more turn in the Dynamax that we have to make count. Um, hmm. What should I go into? Sea King. We're going to Sea King. I can wait to see if he has any electric moves. Maybe save this thing for the back end. Beads. Yeah, we're gonna go into uh, Gyarados. We're gonna go into Gyarados here. We have that uh that what's called as well, the safety goggles. Okay. We get out Gyarados. We're sitting this battle's gonna be pretty close. This is what this one is gonna be a close battle. Venusaur does come out. Okay. I'm totally fine with Venusaur. I think he's going to Dynamax Venusaur. I really do think that's the play. Um, I might actually bounce up. But bounce up. Let's see if we can dodge a move. Hmm. Is that the play? Is that the play? I don't want to get rid of this, uh, this Bisharp here, so I'm going to do that. Then probably go into a Max Boost. Get that boost right here. Hmm, how should I play this one? I could get the great now. The great stream would definitely help him out. Hmm. What is the play? I say we just go after this, uh, this Venusaur. Get that boost as well. It's not super effective, so. Let's see what happens here. Waterfall comes out. We say bye bye to you. He does not Dynamax, which is awesome for us. Which is awesome. He does not go for the Dynamax. I think he's saving it for the next Pokemon. Oh, he might be going for Sleep Powder. Yo, go on my Gyarados. Go on my Gyarados. We have safety goggles. Go for Sleep Powder over on him. Sleep Powder comes out. Bang, yo. Safety goggles is popping out here. Yo, let's get it. Let's get it. Max who's coming out here. Big old damage there. We'll take that. I could bounce up now and just say, see you later. Get out of here. Um, he's probably going to try to put me to sleep. So I might actually protect this turn. And then uh, I do have protect. So I might protect and bounce. I think that might be the play. He's going to pull out, uh, is it Charizard? No, it's going to be my shot. This thing is not Sash because of the, of the what's called his Sash. And I could just bounce on whoever I want. Who should I bounce on? I bounce on? You got Dynamax something. I'm going to bounce over onto this Venusaur. Just get rid of that thing. And then I think I'm just going to drop a nice big old Skull here. And try to put on this Machow. Because he's definitely going to try to put me to sleep. That's probably what he's going to do. I wish uh, Gyarados had like a, an air move that hit in one turn instead of bounce. I feel like that would be so much better for us. But so bounce is not bad considering we can dodge moves with it. That's pretty nice. So hopefully he Dynamaxes the Machow and he actually goes after the Gyarados slot so we can dodge it. So save the goggles. Coming up clutches, battle's looking pretty good. Battle's looking pretty good. He does Dynamax Venusaur, he goes for a G-Max Venusaur. I'm totally cool with it. I'm 100% cool with it. We're gonna bounce across that way and hopefully we can land this turn over on the my shot. Maybe take it out one shot, because we are plus one stab in the rain. But we're gonna be chilling, we're gonna be chilling. My shot goes for a big Oh, you little biscuit. You little buttery biscuit. We flinch. Venusaur's gotta be going after it. Oh no, it goes after a tentacle. Max Quake comes out. Eat it up, tentacle. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up! Oh my god, yo, did he really just survive on one? Did he really just survive on one? My shell's dead, dude. My shell's dead. Weakness policy coming out here. And we survive on one, yo. This dude is heated. 
He is heated right now. We can just pause the pops out here. Maybe if it was stab damage, he would have killed me. But nah, yo, get out of my face. Skull comes out here. See you later, my shell. You're dead. You're dead. Get out of my face. You do not die? Are you kidding me? This thing really ate it up like that? That's nuts. Um, do I bounce here? Do I bounce? I think I got to bounce. Yeah, I'm definitely going to bounce over on... Mm, do I bounce or do I just take him out? Who do I take out? I'm going to go after his Venusaur. I think that's the play. We're going to Moxie boost it. And I think I just protect from the My Shell. Wait, that's got to be the play here. Tentacruel's going to protect. My Shell's got to be coming after my Tentacruel. We're just wasting out on G Max turns right here. Or Dynamax turns, whatever you want to call it. Yo, we springing up. Yo, we out of here, bro. We out of here. Get it. And then we still have Seeking in the back end. Your Tentacruel coming up clutch here. Rock Side comes out. There it is, avoids, and we protect. Beautiful. And then the. He's gonna go for a G Max Spine Lash. Over on the Gyarados, we dodge that attack. Rain does stop though, but still, we are wasting out turns left and right here. Okay, so that's gonna come down. Um, bump, bump. And I don't even know what to do. I guess we'll go for another Skull. I'm so surprised we didn't take out that My Shot. We are plus three. We are plus three. Bounce comes out here, does some big old damage. Venusaur's out of here. We're Moxie plus one. Take that thing out, and we get that plus one boost as well. This game is wrapped up. We wrap this game up. That's GG. We still have Seeking in the back end, and we dominate this first battle. We get it rolling. We make some nice plays as well. But still, is anyone else surprised that that Tentacruel did not take out that My Shot with that Scald? Rain Stab plus three. Like, bruh. Come on, yo. I thought for sure that thing was dead. I thought for sure that thing was dead. Unless it's a Soul Vessel. Unless it's a Soul Vessel, then... And it actually might have been a soul vessel. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think that thing is a soul vessel. Because that thing ate it up really well. Really well. Seeking comes out here. Do I go for the horn drill? Do I go for the horn drill? I'm going to go for a bounce here. And I'm going to go for the horn drill. Try to have some fun with this one. Let's get it, Seeking. Get it, Seeking. Get it. This dude's got to be quitting. He's got to be quitting. He does not quit. Come on, Seeking. Land this horn drill. Land it, dude. Get it out of here. Seeking, I'll give you $50,000 for it. I jump kick comes in here. Eat it up, buddy. Now do him dirty. Horn drill. Ah, yeah, we avoided it. No. We're going to go for another one, though. We're going to go for another one. Bounce has to be hitting here. Imagine if bounce misses and we lose. Bruh. And he drops a rock slide. Bruh. I might have just lost this battle for us. Now that I'm thinking about it, it that that's going to happen. <laughs> Let's see. Bounce comes out here. Nope. Bounce connects. GG, yo. We got 1-0 and in our first battle, yo. Absolutely dominated. We got to show off Tentacruel. He was an absolute monster. Hopefully, in the next battle, we can show off Sea King as well. Bruh, another Sun Team? I'm not worried, though. I'm not worried. We absolutely smacked on that last one. So, let's see if we can do it again in the second battle. This guy's Tokus, Torkoal, Dusclops for Trick Room, Venusaur, Titar, and Labiro Cinderace. That thing is an absolute monster. Um, who should I go into? How should we play this one? How should we play this one? If he wants to go into, uh... That's cops. I said we go into Urshifu. I said we definitely go into Urshifu. Roll out from there. Uh, maybe go into Sea King. Did Sea King do some work? I kind of would love to change up the weather again. I might actually go Lapras here. Go with G Max, Resonance, change up weather, and all that good stuff. Our special attack is nice. It's tight, nice. Let's see uh, what this thing is. This thing was 124, which is not bad. I'm just still surprised about that. My Shout just eating that up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go. um... We're going to go here, Lapras, Urshfu, Lapras, uh, Gyarados, and then into Draco Fish? Or do we go Sea King? I would love to bring Sea King, have some fun with it. What should I want? Draco Fish and Tentacle. I want them both. I'm going to go Sea King. I'm going to go Sea King here for the second battle. Try to show that one off because you guys already know what Draco Fish does. Tentacle we showed off in uh, battle number one. He did some work. Changed up weather early on, kind of controlled the match for us, and survived on one and was able to do big damage to that my shell. But I think we would win that battle even if uh, that Tentacle did go out. Because we had Moxie Gyarados who was boosted. He was doing some work all around. But can we get back-to-back -back wins? Yeah, we played good that first one. Let's see. He goes to Dusclops and Titar. That's totally fine with me. I think a Wicked Blow could do some mean damage with him. Uh, that Dusclops. And I could Dynamax here and change up weather. But I really don't want to... Uh, I really do not want to... Uh, what's it called? I really don't want to trigger Weakness Policy. Hmm. Definitely Wicked Blow coming out here. Oh. Or I could just dump on this thing. Or I could just dump on the T-Tar. I say I just go after his T-Tar, yo. Dump on that thing. And I say we just change up weather. Do I change up weather or do I drop out of resonance? And get the roar valve going. Hmm. What do I want to do? 
I'm actually just gonna get this going. A close combat should be able to do huge damage up against this T-Tar. Yeah, you better withdraw that T-Tar. You better get that thing out of here. He's gonna send out. I should've went for the Wicked Blow Cross. He sent out Venusaur. Venusaur's gonna be able to eat that up very, very well. I wish the Resonance was dropping on the other side now. Man! Get out of here. But he's definitely gonna be able to get off Trick Room, which is a little scary. But so my Lapras should be able to thrive in this a little bit. If he even is going for Trick Room. Do I have to go for like Alice Switches and all that? No way. Because if he would have went for an Alice Switch, he would have kept the Tito range. Maybe Dynamax that. But yeah, we get Lapras out here. Everyone knows this thing is big dog. And Close Combat's gonna come out here. Our defense is going to drop down here. Hey! Leave me alone! We are faster than both these Pokemon. Unless Trick Room comes up, which I think it is gonna come up. He's gonna be able to dump on me. Yo, know, Resonance comes out here. He's hoping. He's like, yo, is that going to air by Venusaur? Luckily not. We do get up a Roar Bell. Not bad damage going out here as well. Not bad damage. But there we go. Roar Bell popping. I don't think he has any way. Unless, doesn't Duskops learn Brick Break? I think it does, but only some Duskops run it. Let's see. Trick Room does come out here. That's obvious. That's obvious. We saw that coming from a mile away. And yo, somebody commented on my last Pokemon video with the Heracross about my cup. I had like a Disneyland cup. Yo, you the man for noticing that. You have one. That is awesome. Shout out to you. Let me know if you're watching this video in the comment section down below. <laughs> I did see your comment, my dude. But we're definitely going to try to get this Wicked Blow off and uh, have a resonance over onto this Venusaur. Let's see what happens. They're totally going to ask me, and I think they're going to take out my Urshu, no problem. Uh, I don't think he's, he is going to Dynamax here. I think he's going to try to wait this one out. He's going to withdraw the Dust Gods. That's totally fine with me. That's totally fine with me. Wicked Blow is coming in, and he is going to drop the T-Tar here. Totally fine. Imagine if I would have went for that close combat over there. Just dumped on it. This thing should go down here. We are Life Orb. Super effective. Get that thing out of here. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. That is good part about having Lapras is this thing will thrive in the Trick Room as well. Lapras loses some HP from the Life Orb, which is wonderful. Wicked Blow comes out here. Get it, boy. Yo, it is always a crit, but this thing is not very effective. I think it would have did some work. That would have did some work. We get buffed it. Uh, do we see a Dynamax coming out here? I think we might. I think we might. Which is a little scary. With the t -tar. What Pokemon is he going to send out on the side? He's going to send out Tokus. Okay, so Tokus is obviously coming out here. Uh, do I have Detect here? He's got to go for a follow me. Hmm. What other Pokemon do I have? I have a... Uh, Seeking, which drill run could come up clutch. We have waterfall on this thing. Uh, like I said, a war bell is chilling for a little bit. Wicked blow just stinks all around. I think I might swap you out and go into the sea king. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the sea king, and I think I'm just gonna drop a geyser. Change up the weather. That, that does help him out tremendously. Do I just drop another resonance? Hmm. Let me just drop another resonance. Over onto the Tokus. Urshfu's out of here. I'm trying to keep him and wait out this trick room. That could be huge. That can honestly be huge if we can wait this out. Sea King coming out here. A little goldfish action. And the Dynamax is going to come out here from the uh, the T-Tar, I believe. Oh my god, I'm so congested. You, you guys can probably hear it in my voice. I've been coughing. I've been having just like throat problems right now. But I feel good all around. I feel good all around. I'm just having like throat problems. I've been coughing. So you guys can probably hear that in my voice. Don't worry. Your voice is fine. Your voice is fine. But he does done Dynamax and T-Tar like I thought he would. But I'm trying to save that Urshu. Because if I can get a close combat off on that, that's going to be GG. He's going to protect here. That's totally fine. Smart little player. I probably should change up the weather. Rock Vault. Well, he would have changed it up as well. That's totally fine. He does a nice big rock fall damage on me. We eat that up. That's tasty snacky out there. And a resonance is going to drop through. Maybe we should change it with the weather, but still. Protect's gonna come out here, help that thing out a little bit. Hopefully this thing isn't weakness policy. The T-Tart's gotta be weakness policy, right? If I had to guess, that thing's gotta be weakness policy. T-Tart. Everyone knows that thing is an absolute monster with that item on it. And some buffets go all around. Um What's the play here? Do I go for a horn drill? Do I go for the horn drill? 30 accuracy. Do, do one hit KOs work on? I don't think it will work on them. I'm gonna go for the horn drill on you. I'm just gonna protect you. Wait, how much turns left in Trick Room? That's a real question. Do I double protect here? Trick Room's too. I think I double protect here. Definitely protect the Sea King. I'm gonna double protect. Get out this trick room here. We are definitely waiting this one out. 
So we have these two Pokemon and Urshifu in the back. Urshifu will be fastest. And Urshifu can do a lot of work all around on all these Pokemon. Actually, dude, a fairy move would just dump on me. That's that's the scariest part. If Darkness comes out here, he's gonna lower our stats. We'll go for my Seeking. Seeking will be able to eat that up just dandy, just fine. Uh, Tokus won't be able to do Jack Squat. So we have to get rid of this Tokus next turn. Like, next turn, he's gotta go. Like, this turn, Tokus has to go. Because I think that's the only thing holding my, uh... My Urshifu from, uh, sweeping this one. It's gonna be that Tokus. Going to be that Tokus. Because I know he says Dust Cops in the back. Like, that's bad. Uh, do I go for Ice Beam on that thing? I think I might. Ice Beam would do more than Skull. Let's go for an Ice Beam. Ice Beam coming out here, and then... Sh 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 I drop a Thunder or a Blizzard? Let's see we go Blizzard. Maybe get the Freeze on the T-Tar or Freeze on one of them. Hopefully this will connect. 70 Accuracy. We hoping, we hoping. Goes for Knuckle. Okay, we can say bye to Lapras. He's gone. Lapras is out of here. Lapras is gone, and he gets that plus one. Yeah, come on. Oh, it's Seeking. I need you here, Seeking. I need you here, Seeking. Trick Room is gone, and I think both these guys are slower than me. So I might actually read a Protect coming out of here. What happens? Let's see how much damage our Ice Beam will do first of all. Ice Beam coming out here. Get it. Okay, so Ice Beam will take out another shot. Show me the freeze. Give me the freeze. No freeze happens. That's in Gleam is popping. Okay. So the problem here is that Seeking is slower than Togus. And our Roar Bell is gone. Oh no, we still have Gyarados. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I totally forgot. We still got Gyarados, which is lovely. We are definitely going to need him here. Gyarados is popping out here. Gyarados, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that we had Gyarados. Oh my lord. Thank the lord. Thank the lord. That is definitely clutch. Um, I'm going to go for a horn drill over on you. I think he's going to protect there. And I think uh, a nice waterfall is going to come out here. So, so Tokus is definitely going to go down here to this waterfall. And hopefully Seeking can land this. If Seeking lands this, this will be gross. But I think the T-Tar might protect. I think T-Tar might go into a protect here. Like I said, I'm just... Like, I didn't want to just trigger and speak this policy when he had his dino. So I wasn't, wasn't trying to do that. Waterfall comes out. Tokus should go down here, right? Yep, Tokus. Get him out of here. Get out of here, kid. And Horn Drill. Come on, Horn Drill. I need you here. Moxie, we get the boost, which is lovely. And this one's looking pretty good for us. Horn Drill, land. No! We're 0 for 2 on him. Rockside comes out here. Uh, Seeking, you gonna go down here? Oh. Oh! What you mean? What do you mean he gets a crit on me? What you mean? Bruh. He really critted on me. This thing really just critted on me. Are you kidding me? But I think Urshifu can uh, come up clutch here and kind of sweep out. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I'll go for a Wicked Blow. Take out the Dust Cop. Maybe read the Protect from the T-Tar. I don't think T-Tar has too much going for us. Focus Ash is going to do nothing. I see we go into a Wicked Blow here. Maybe read the T-Tar, uh... The T-Tar's Protect. Yo, what you mean? What do you mean that that thing... Crit on me. I still think Urshifu could sweep out here. I really do. This dude's confused. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't see what's coming. Wicked Blow comes out here. Should be able to take this thing out in one shot here. Crit, stab. Super effective. Get it out of here. Okay, so that thing's gone. All we gotta do is eat. All we gotta do is eat. And then close combat can finish this match off easily. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. He's gonna go for a superpower. Eat it up. You got it. Eat it up. Bruh. Bruh. No, no way, no way, what you mean? Yo, GG to this guy, we got one and one so far, we're gonna hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. I'm pretty mad at that last one, I thought we should've won that one, but we ended up losing, I made a few bad plays, like I should've probably not went for the horn drill there, it was unnecessary, but I still went for it, and I probably should've uh, went after the T-Tar instead of the Tokus with the Gyarados, that could've been a nice play, but still, but still, he still got a crit on me and killed my Gyarados, which is absurd it is absurd third and final battle coming out he has a g-max pikachu oh dude this team's got the three kanto starters with venusaur charizard and blastoise nine tails for the sun tailwind pokemon right there i might actually taunt that right actually i cannot taunt if, it, if he's prankster he's just gonna go first there's really no point um i could go into uh tentacle let's go tentacle here tentacle is a dope little pokemon uh pikachu might come out here which i gotta bring sea king with that lightning mod that could be totally clutch um who do i lead 
Who do I lead? Bump dump dump. Do I lead Draco Fish? I think I might lead Draco Fish. And then bring Sea King. And then Urshfu or Gyarados. Who knows Gyarados, dude? Let me get Gyarados up in here and try to get this team rolling right here. Gotta bring that Seeking for that Lightning Rod. I think it's awesome that it does learn that ability, Lightning Rod. Especially for a team like this. For a team like this, yo, Lightning Rod's gonna come up clutch. He's gotta watch out for Peek Peek. He's a big scary man. He's gotta be bringing Pikachu. He's gotta be bringing Pikachu. Hopefully he doesn't know Seeking learns Lightning Rod. Like, I didn't know that until I saw it. I was like, what? I think that's awesome. Nine Tails Charger comes out. Rats. And the Wombo combo. We're probably gonna get Mark here. Um, but still, nice Fishes Ryan could do work onto that Charizard. We can do some work over onto that Charizard. I might actually Dynamax uh, Tentacruel right here. I think that might be a good call. Dynamax Tentacruel. Um, change up the weather. Yeah, go after this Nine Tails. The Charizard could protect. And I think we just drop a Fishes Ryan over onto the Charizard side. Charizard might actually outspeed. Because this thing's speed isn't that high. It's like 98, I think, with Choice Car. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Gonna see if the boy Tentacruel can clutch up the Weather Wars once again. What's up with all the Sun teams now? We're reversing tons of Sun teams. It's absurd. What is this, three in a row? That's nuts. That is nuts. Sun is just taking over. Sun is such a good weather. And it's just phenomenal, especially with Charizard. And they gave it a G-Max form and all that. And so Nine Tails rocks out. Torkoal is amazing in Sun, especially if you can get the trick and rolling. You don't withdraw the Nine Tails. That's totally fine. You're gonna go into Venusaur. Yep. Venusaur comes out. Venusaur, yeah. Vina, 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 so yeah. And he's gonna Dynamax this dude. He's gonna Dynamax Charizard. He's Dynamax Charizard. What you doing, fool? What are you doing? Hopefully, this fish rank come out here and just slap it up. I don't know. The drought's definitely gonna help it out a lot. And I think the Charizard out speed, so then the double damage doesn't get through, which is whack. That's what, that's why I think this Jigglypuff fish should be a lot faster than what it is. That's why I think that. But still, the Venusaur will not have a speed advantage after my tentacle changes up the weather. Which is just dandy candy. Here you go, Tenth Cool. Here you go, buddy. There you go, boy. And the big part is he's probably gonna swap with the Nine Tails next turn once again. Which is going to be huge. Going to be huge here. Let's see. What are you doing, fool? What are you doing? The fish run comes out. Oh, we do out speed. We do some big old damage to that charger. That charger is not ready. The charger doesn't want it. He goes for the airstream, which is huge for him. He's probably gonna be able to outspeed the next turn. My tentacle eats up. He says, yo, dude, that's a tasty snacky out there. I'll take that for free. Uh, Venusaur and him are going to get speed boost, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. I should have went after Charizard side here. Bam, 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 bam. Guys are coming out. Uh, yeet. Get it. Venusaur's going to take a little bit of damage, but big part is going to be changing up this weather. Uh, now what is the play? The real question is, what is the next play? Because he might swap back into Nine Tails. He could guard. There's a lot of options here. There are a lot of options. Um, do I guard? Or do I double? I think I might guard. I think I'm gonna guard and drop a fish's friend over here. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because I think he's gonna drop an airstream, try to take out my tentacle, and swap back into the nine tails. I think that's gonna be the play. And I think that's it. You guys, you guys feel me? You guys feel what Jeans is feeling? I'm feeling the nine tail swap. He does not swap. Hey, never mind. Next airstream comes out, but we do get the block. That was my main concern there. There's no way this Venusaur takes me out. Fish run comes out here. Bang, yo. We take out the Charizard, no problem. That's kind of my main gist to the play, but I just thought he was going to swap into nine tails as well. I think he's waiting for my Dynamax turn to get out here. He's going to roll out there. Earth Power comes out here. Oh, he doubled up into me, yo. Let's go. Free turns for me. Free turns for me. Big max guard. So I kind of called that a little bit. I just thought he was going to swap into the Ninetales. Well, he swaps into it now. And now I can definitely change up the weather. Now I can definitely change up the weather. But the sad part is going to be that this Venusaur is probably going to outspeed me. And might take me out. 173? He's either going to take me out or trick my weakest fossils. So either way, I don't like it. Um, I am choice into this, uh, this fish run. So we're going to double up into the Ninetales slot just in case one of us don't take it out. Earth Power comes out. We do eat. Weakest policy is triggered, so if Tentacruel does get off the turn here, we could be chilling. This thing's gotta be going into like a heat wave or something along these lines. The drought? Oh no, we go first. Fish's rank comes out here. Yo, take that thing out. Say see you later. Yep, nine tails gone. And we get off the another uh another max guy to change up the weather, even though it's not gonna do too too much. It's totally gonna help us out in the long run. Fo show! Fo show! Give me that weather! Give me that weather! That's my weather, man. Yo, we're playing go with this city. 
team. I didn't think I was going to play this good with this team. Considering it was like all water, I'm cool with it. You got to remember, I saw Seeking in the back. If he does have Pikachu, is he bringing Pikachu? I don't think he's bringing Pikachu. Whimsicott comes out here as his final two mods. We are chilling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel Sneeze coming now. Hopefully, I can drink some water and cancel it out. Dean Juice protects Sneeze. It's super effective. <laughs> It blocked the attack. Okay. Uh, we'll go after this one, Scott. And I gotta just keep going in the fish's friends. I mean, I guess we'll go after this Venusaur. Venusaur is the biggest threat. Um, Scott could, oh. Oh, you little buttery biscuit, man. You little buttery biscuit. You little biscuit. Rock and Sunny Dash. Should have kind of seen that coming. Big Drain comes out. That's going to take out Tentacool. No problem. He's gonna get some HP back. I don't think he's gonna worry about Draco Fish too, too much. I think he's gonna worry about it. Okay, so we do have Gyarados in the back. Right, we brought Gyarados. Fish run comes out. Do poo poo damage, but still, we'll take the damage. We still have Gyarados in the back, and Gyarados will be able to rock out. We have Bounce, which is huge. Uh, I gotta bounce here, right? I gotta say, see you later. Bounce up into the sky. Do I go after a Venusaur slot, or do I go, go after a Scott slot? I think I gotta go after his Venusaur slot. And I might swap at this time. No, I'm gonna stay in the turn, and I might swap next turn. The job of fishes right and maybe knock off this woman's cot's focus ash. But I think Venusaur might go next turn. He might actually sleep powder my arrows, which could be perfect for me. Let's see, nature power coming out here. Yo, leave me alone. Turns into try attack. Yo, this thing's rocking out with some cool moves. Wonder if my trick of fish, leave him alone. We'll eat that up. Let's taste his snack. Giga Drain comes out over on you. He's doing some mean damage on me. Uh, we can take off this woman's cot's focus ash, which is gonna be pretty big. And is there a point of swapping Draco Fish? I kind of should just keep him in here. They do work. Bounce coming out here. And try to wait out that, uh... That what's it called? The sun. But then I'll just sunny day again. Definitely got to go into it another Fish's Ren. But I think this bounce will take out the Venusaur. If he doesn't protect. But I see him protecting here. What'd you want, fool? No, he does not protect. Okay, I'm down with it. He's going to double up into my Draco Fish. And probably take him out here with the Giga Drain. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Come on, yo. Bounce. Take this thing out. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. This one's going to be close. Because we just have Seeking in the back. He does have the Rindo Berry, which could help us out a lot, actually. Let's get it. Bounce coming out here. Take him out. Come on, yo. Do some work. Do some work. Get. Oh. No. No. What do you mean? What? 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 Uh huh. What you mean? What? I'm confused. What do you mean? Huh? I'm confused. What do you mean? Bruh! No! Whack. That is whack. That is so whack. I do have flamethrower though. I do have flamethrower. Uh, Venusaur might protect. I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack all around here. Because I do have that window berry. I'm gonna throw the flamethrower on a wind Are you kidding me? We do not take him out. Nature Power comes out. Try attacks coming out. Up against Sea King. Um. I know it goes over my Gyarados, which is totally fine. Gyarados is a huge threat here. <laughs> Of course, he gets to paralyze here. Giga Drain coming out here. I want the Gyarados slot. I want the Gyarados slot. I think we should be able to pick up the double KO here. The Ice Beam should 100% be able to take out the uh, the Venusaur. Get out of here, Venusaur. You're dead. Get out of here. Okay. Finally, that thing goes. We do have Flamethrower. We're going to be able to show off this unless it, we're paralyzed. If Flamethrower comes out here, can Flamethrower pick up the win on a Gyarados in the drought? No, it does not. It does not. No stab. Oh, get the burn. That's what you get for paralyzing me. That's what you get, dog. That's what you get. We're going to end up going 2 and 1. We're going to end up going 2 and 1. Your boy is clutching it up. Go for another flamethrower. And you know what? We're going for the horn drill. <laughs> in case we miss our, uh, in case we miss our, uh, flamethrower. This one's guy has a cool moveset, though. If I attack on it, you never see it. Well, nature power. So we eat. That's tasty snacky out there. Horn drill comes out. Land it. No, yo, we went 0 for 3 on horn drills. God dang it, man. At least wanted to land one of them today. You guys know what I'm saying? I at least wanted to land one of them today. That is whack sauce. That is whack. But we go 2 and 1 with this team. Yo, GG. I absolutely love this team. Even though it was all water, I had a blast and rocked out with it. Tentacruel and Sea King, I'm going to say, these Pokemon are OP. They absolutely dominated it today. It's like, they're not OP, but still, I had tons of fun. 
playing with both of those Pokemon. They did so well. We dominated with the Tentacle. Sea King came up clutch. It also had Lightning Rod, but we didn't get to show it off. But still, Sea King comes up with that final kill to get us our winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.